Have you seen what happened to these? What happened? What does that mean? They look like albinos. Why are they all yellow? <laughs> so, well, let's check the other ones. Maybe it's just the sweetness is wilting them. They know that you hate them. See? These ones are awful. They're yellow and they're dying. After nearly two months, the talking to plants experiment has a major problem. I'm going to go check the watering system and see if maybe the timers are off or, or what's going on. It looks pretty dry, doesn't it? The build team hasn't been up here for a week. A long, hot week. Now, faced with withered, dying plants, they wish they had. One of these timers isn't working. Really? So, that's, so it's not getting any water? Okay, I'm going to check the moisture. And this one looks pretty moist on the top. But it's dry down there. Well, I guess they don't grow on kind words alone. The problem is, is the timer that was letting the plants get water, the one that was actually feeding into the pots, the battery died. I just think the talking plants are committing suicide because they're listening to I love you, love you, love you all freaking day. The only upside, every greenhouse was affected in exactly the same way. So although the plants aren't a picture of health, the experiment is still valid. And now the build team will reap what it's sown. I think to come up with our conclusion, what we need to do is pull the plants out of the pots, completely wash the soil off of the roots, and weigh the plant mass in each greenhouse. And that should give us a pretty good result. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Carrie. Hi. What's going on up here? You're looking like a groundhog. I'm here, too. Hi. Hi. <laughs> groundhog, too. As is traditional at harvest time, all the neighbors gather around to lend a hand. Here's the first nice house. Yeah. Little cute peas. Sweet, wonderful, tiny. I really wanted to hear Jamie do this one. I really wanted to hear, You are the most beautiful plant I've ever seen. I I love you. <laughs> so you're nice here and then you're nasty here. You were in You called the plant a freshman? He was running out of material. Now for the hard data. Does talking to plants help them grow? So this is the classical music. Classical music. Turns out, not as well as playing them music. Wow! Dude! Right? Those look like very healthy plants. <laughs> They're blah. All I hear is blah, blah! <laughs> Number seven. The metal house was the best performer of all. How many peat buds? But in both music houses, the plants were healthier, taller, and had the biggest peas. Six My God, metal is huge. These plants are enormous compared to everything else. I think, I think heavy metal rolls. I think heavy metal. Totally rules. 16 inches. Talking nice or nasty made no difference. 17. Two pods. Two shriveled peat pods, number eight. Carrie's nice house did better than her nasty one, but the opposite was true for Scotty. 30 grams. 30 grams on number eight. And the silent control house was the worst performer of all. Say nine grams. Nine grams, number six. So I went through all the data of what your plants did, and by and large, actually, hands down, talking and music did better than the control. It was larger biomass, larger yield, bigger pea pods. So what do we think? Is it busted, plausible, or confirmed? Well, this team did really good on this job, but the sample's not quite big enough to say confirmed. However, I'm really impressed. It is totally plausible. Wow. Um, Interestingly, although talking helps, it doesn't matter what you actually say to your plants. That's what our data says. It says you could curse at it, you could be kind to it. The plant doesn't know the difference. But music for a bumper crop, let there be rock. Uh, Tori and I are going to try a pair of the death metal piece here. They taste quite good. Oh, God. The ones that music was played to just taste fantastically. 